Fit like a B, Danny Boy here, and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 on the UK map. We're on the Nimby Rails map where there's a few new lines. You can probably see one of them. Heading up to Ipswich there and then up to Norwich. There's actually three lines uh, here that were made because there is the line that goes from London Liverpool Street Station out uh, to Chelmsford. Colchester. Well, it actually will go through the route. It actually starts down here. Liverpool, London Liverpool Street. It stops at Stratford, then crosses over this line. It continues on. There's the train right there. It stops at Chelmsford. It then stops at uh, Colchester. I'm still unsure if we're going to add Colchester to the map. I think I'll just leave it. Uh, and we'll just have a run that goes from London out to Ipswich. But it stops at Manningate as well. It stops at Ipswich. It then continues up. It stops at Stowmarket. Uh, this, which is there. And then continues on up to Norwich. So it's a Greater Anglia service. And we've got a few Greater Anglia trains to throw on the line once it's made. So... That'll be fine, but the other two lines are, one that leaves from Ipswich, uh, Ipswich and goes to Peterborough, and that goes up past Ipswich, it goes to, mm, ah, right, goes to Stowmarket, it goes to, I think it goes to Bury St Edmunds, yeah, Bury St Edmunds, and then it heads up here, and then it goes to Ely, uh, it heads up to March and then carries on to Peterborough and I think one of the trains is actually there. There are two there. One is moving very slow, one is moving, yeah, it's probably this one, that sort of, sort of smaller one. So that is that route up to Peterborough. And then there's another route that goes from Cambridge. To Ipswich as well. So it starts in Ipswich. This one has got more stops. So it stops at Needham Market. It stops at Stowe Market. It stops at Elms Elmswell. It stops at Thurston. Uh, Bury St Edmunds. It stops at Kennet. And then it heads down and it stops at Newmarket. And it stops here as well at Dullingham. And then it continues and it sort of goes up and then sort of comes back round in itself to get into the Cambridge station. I thought it might have came down and then went back up, but it actually goes up and then it pulls a hard left turn and join back onto this sort of main line here. So we'll get those three lines built. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, we'll do them. They're all Greater Anglia services, as far as I know. Uh, I've been also looking at other places. Uh, there's not actually much more for us to do because we've almost connected pretty much every city we have on our transport fever map. There is a route that goes from Brighton out to Southampton. I was looking to see if anything went to Dover to sort of Brighton, but there's only stuff that goes to like Eastbourne out to Ashford and then up to London. Uh, but there is one that goes from Brighton, a Great Western Railway service, I think, that goes out to Southampton. And then we'll start moving along here. We'll get our London out to Penzance and Plymouth lines. We'll get them done as well. And then we'll sort of be working over in this area. So, without further ado, let's head over to the Transport Fever 2 map. So, here we are back on the transport fever map uh, following our invisible floating dude which is actually in I think it's a class 92 can we see the train <laughs> hold on maybe go yeah yeah there it is so when you pop out here train disappears and just leaves floating driver so this is our newest freight train uh, the one that is taking it is taking Plastic, yeah, it's taking plastic to Newcastle. It's a great model, this. Uh, we're going to leave that, though, to go on its merry way, which is heading off there. But we are going to head down to this direction. Now, I was going to pop Colchester in here. I suppose we probably could, because the London line is going to come out here, 
Uh, we're going to delete that depot. It's going to go through there, bypass south end on C, head up here, uh, maybe go round to Ipswich. Well, it is going to go round to Ipswich and then round here. And then we're going to have another line that potentially either goes up to here and comes down or goes back on the same line to Cambridge. Where's the, is there a free platform? Which side is there? A potential free platform. I think probably at this side. I think we've got Greater Anglia train already. Yeah, Greater Anglia, Cambridge to Norwich. Yeah, there's quite a few of them. They're looking quite old and beat up. But we also need another one that goes up and heads up to Peterborough, which should be totally fine. And we can utilize this spare platform on the right hand side just there. So we'll do that. We'll add, will we add Colchester? Why the hell not? Uh, the frame rate is starting to suffer, as per usual. Uh, the Vulcan graphics update can only sort of do so much. This system I have is quite old now, so... Right, let's change this to Colchester. There we go. Is there a point in having Colchester? I don't know, but it's, it is in. And the perfect place for the station is going to be right along here. Now, I'm just going to make a two-way station. I think that will be fine. Uh, we'll make the other one. What's the other one? Uh, we'll make Ipswich Station a four. Uh, make it quite long, I think, 240. Maybe make it just 320 here at Colchester. I might have an idea for a sort of larger train. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna build a road that goes right across those two sort of forks, those two roads right there. And that should connect us up. So you go there, and then pop around there, yep. And pop around here, yep. Okay. Cool, cool, and then we can start heading out down towards, uh, well, this station here, which is not really London Liverpool Street. I suppose it's going to be the the closest thing to London Liverpool Street that we we really have. But we shall take the train out from these two platforms here. Now, we want, do we want this electrified or do we want it sort of dieseled? Uh, we've got quite a lot of electrified tracks. I'm going to try and re refrain from using electrified tracks on this build. Uh, don't start from that side. Start from this side. So head out. Straight. Straightish. You're aiming for going underneath that bridge. I do not want you to snap to the south end on sea. Safety coast train line. Oops, the daisy. You and down there. <clears throat> awesome. And then we'll have you come forward or straight for a touch. And then we'll have you branch off and go on your your merry way. There we go. Very nice. Keep going around. Alright, so we're going round. Yeah, I see the station over there, so this might not be, might be quite an easy section to sort of feather in. Possibly just go like that, because this area here is super flat. I don't know if it's as flat as this in real life, but it certainly is particularly flat in here. Uh, right, I want a station over here now, so buildings. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that one again, because this one seems to be my new go-to for uh, stations now. It's got like the old, old school building. Uh, the reason I like that is because even though we're in 2021, there ain't many brand new train stations in the UK. Many of them were made many, many moons ago. So they are quite old schoolish. Some of them have had upgrades and things, modernization through the years, but not all of them. 
Yeah, I'll stick that into there. I'll be fine. Right, now we're going to have two lines that pop off and go that way, and a line that heads up there. So this is going to be quite a short route from Ipswich to <coughs> uh, Norwich. I would imagine that one will be able just to fire it in, like so. There we go. Nice. And then I want you. Oh, it's doing something wild there. Yeah, you go in there. It's nice too. Okay. Very nice indeed. And this one is going to head out and then join on here. And this is going to add to our Peterborough and Cambridge line. So you come about there. And I'll make at least that line, the sort of East Midlands rail route. Because those are the trains that are running on there at the moment. Uh, slightly more, slightly more busier. There will be more things to see, at least. There we go. Get one in the middle here. Get one, a couple there. We'll do a bit of smoothing as well. And this is a longer section, but it's nice. There we go. There's our city to coast sprinters there. Which I think actually do quite well. Now I am going to need to diamante this. So we'll get a diamond, ooh, hates it. We'll get a diamond in there. In fact, I don't really need a diamond in there. I'm gonna place one in just in case because you never know what might pop up in the future. Other lines may be added. Right, so let's do this. So this is a Greater Anglia. London, Liverpool Street, out to Norwich via Colchester. Which is there. And Ipswich. Which is there. And then off to Norwich. Which is there. Now it looks like it's doing something good here. But it is going to try and jump back. It didn't. It didn't try to jump back. Wow. Amazing. Well it's not over yet. You still click on this one. No it's still good. Awesome. Now is it going into the right platform? down at this side. No, you see, I kind of want you to go on into four. Right, is this going to cause issues? It shouldn't. It should still be fine. No, we're good. We are all good there. So we need to repaint this as red. And then it's RLP Real Passenger LDN to nor awesome uh, line one what is line one I'm actually quite intrigued what is line one ooh that's that freight line I actually need to fix this I need to have it stop in past Perth so if we've got time after I've built all this stuff we shall most definitely add it now we'll get the other route patched in here as well and then we can sort of go around. So we're obviously branching off to this side and it's going to go in there. That's fine. The other one is going to continue up and go into here. That's fine. So this route, apart from that teeny tiny little section from here into there, is uh, well, it's done. It's done and dusted, basically. Uh, let's have a look. See, I might electrify this. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that it probably should be electrified. Yeah, so sort of go out that way. This, I love how flat this area is. There's no issues building tracks here at all. Everything is nice and smooth. No ballast over track. Nonsensicalness. There we go. Patch you into there. Now this one has the catenary poles. So we shall move that to there, move that to there, and we shall signal that one up 
as well. Since we're here, since we're in the general facility, vicinity, not facility, vicinity, and just leave those signals there. That'll be fine. Right. So that is done. Now I can't launch this. Do I want to delete that depot? It kind of looks stupid now. Right. Remove that. You go away as well. And then, right, do a bit of smoothing. Ramp up the brush size, ramp up the strength, as always. There we go, that's nice. Uh, I am thinking about folding this track in here just to sort of make it look slightly neater. I am scared that it's going to tamper with the current line configuration. It should be fine though. Okay, now I think we can sneak a depot out here as well. Now, what I was thinking about doing was getting the old school Anglia trains. I think we'll try and find something in a diesel variant that is that is newish, newer. I think I might know where there is one. Uh, so add that there. We are going to have to double slip switch that because it's going to want to go into this platform first and foremost. Alright, let's jump into the depot. The first of many trains, diesels. Now, if we go into diesels, and we head down the line to here, right? Go there to the right so we can see them. Is it not there? Yeah, see there's an Anglia, but this isn't that greater Anglia, it's just Anglia. So these are like the, the old school versions, right? Is that correct? Someone will know. And then it changed to Greater Anglia. Is that a correct assumption? Now, I would have loved to have had like a Greater Anglia version of one of these trains to sort of pop up and down, but there doesn't seem to be anything. I mean, what we could do there's always lots of stuff in these uh, class 92s and I would imagine Chiltern Railways, Carlandonian Sleeper, Cross Country, Direct Rail Services and uh, that's not Carlandonian Sleeper, that's something else that's Network Southeast hmm. uh, First Great Western, Freightliner, Gatwick Express, Great Northern Greater Anglia. See, there's this Greater Anglia version here. Which I think looks pretty cool. Now, the only problem is... I did not electrify the line. Yay me. And I don't think there are... So, I've got the new transport for wheel stuff. But I highly doubt that there's going to be Greater Anglia uh, sort of coaches. In here, Cotswold Railway, Buffy. There's not any standard coaches for the, the Cotswold Railway either. I have tried to look them up online, but I found literally nothing. The only photos you have, the, the train is always at an angle when it's looking at the the train uh, from the front of the train, roughly from like a 45 degree angle, and you can't actually see. Uh, what the hell the coaches are. I mean, to me, in the photo, they kind of look like uh, these old East Coast, sort of grey, with a, a, a stripe, and then there's some sort of writing. I can never see it. Inner City 250. Yeah, I don't think there's any Greater Anglia numbers in here. Old School West Coast. Let's try the BR3. Ah, maybe. Maybe, because one of these does have the old Anglia, uh, the old Anglia coaches, there we go, there's an Anglia buffet car, yeah, so there are Anglia coaches, it's weird, because there should be more, uh, let's try in here, yeah, I think the Anglia stuff is in here, yeah, coach Anglia, Anglia first class, so that is unfortunate. Let's go to diesel multiple units. I'm going to head down because I think there is 
Potentially a Greater Anglia. Yeah, there we go. Albilio, Albilio Greater Anglia 2 car. Which I quite like the look of. And this one as well. Okay, well, hold on. Hold the fort. What we shall do is find a four car unit of it. If one is available. Yes, so I'll add one of these. Uh, that's only capacity of 75. That does not seem like a lot. Chilton Railway, Chilton Railway old concept unit. I mean, I will absolutely. Oh, there's one now. Right. Remove that. Oh, did I not buy that? What an idiot. Okay, buy that then. <laughs> and then go back up. And buy that as well. There we go. Right, we shall set these on a route. Oh, I've got it down as RLP, but it should not be. So head down. Are there any that are RLP? Just the one. Okay, so I need to rename that. So we will do that. Very nice. The game has accepted that. Uh, East Midlands Transport, City to Coast, Gatwick, Gatwick Express. This needs to be changed to Greater Anglia. Greater Anglia. London to Norwich. Let's look at this bad boy. Yeah, it's quite a nice delivery here, the white and the red. I do prefer the old school Anglia color scheme. In fact, there's like other trains that have this sort of red and white color scheme, transport for wheels, etc. So it would have been nice if they'd actually kept the the old Anglia color scheme. The sort of turquoise turquoisey greeny blue color. It's quite nice. But we shall let this one roll out. Now its first stop is going to be Colchester, which is nice. And now we need to do uh, a few more lines. So we need to go, right, from here. Now we could, I'm going to change this this right now. Because it's annoying me. <laughs> change its color to orange. And this will be... <coughs> Uh, RLF Goods Scotland West because it's going up the the west coast right well it's heads up the east coast and then moves across to the west coast but that is renamed and we'll deal with that in a minute because I need to actually change the line of that train but let's go to Cambridge first right so from here it should all be good. There shouldn't be any issues. It should just fold in with this train. There is a diamond there. There's not really a free platform there, but it's okay. It's just going to share with that. No, don't share with that train. Share with this one. Yeah. Very nice. Now, it could very well be that this train comes all the way up. Or maybe it comes from London and then goes around. Ipswich, I don't know. But in the schedule I seen, it was always just Ipswich or Cambridge is starting destination, terminating, terminating in Ipswich or Cambridge. And some, and most of the schedules, it does say that, like, if Ipswich wasn't at the final destination, it would say it would give you the name of the final destination station below. Uh, Ipswich or Cambridge and I, I didn't see that so that's strange like for example when I checked on the schedule for uh, Gloucester because one of the Plymouth or Penzance to Aberdeen routes actually stopped there and one of them did not but when you clicked on Gloucester and say I'm searching for trains for Gloucester or Bristol. It would have that. Uh, it would have that train schedule with all the stops in between, but above it, it would say Edinburgh or Aberdeen because that's where it started, and then below it, it would have Gloucester, all the stops in between. Then it would have Bristol, and underneath Bristol, it would say Plymouth, uh, Plymouth 
or Penzance to sort of show that that's where the train will be continuing on to. So I'm not 100% sure that it's just an Ipswich to uh, Cambridge line. I'm not 100% sure that it's just an Ipswich to Peterborough line, but I would imagine that it is. So I've not seen any information to say otherwise. But this is not line one, and we need to manage this. So this is all good. So far, so good. Now, this is Greater Anglia. Again. And you are going from Cam to Ips. Very nice. Now I need to actually figure out what train I want to place on here. I can stick a depot at the end of here and do both of these lines. Again, I do not know what this train is going to be. It has the possibility to be either uh, electrified or dieseled. I plop you into there. Very nice. Add a depot. Spin you round. Please. Now this car is attempting to go around there. And we could actually just build a road that goes across there. It's not an issue. Actually, I want to check. So, is there a Greater Anglia version of this? There is not. This all network southeast. The stagecoach trains are interesting. So you're looking for greater angle, I'd think white and red. What I actually wanted to look at, so transport for Wales, see that could be passed off almost as a greater Anglia train. Chilton Railways. There's 128 of these, but I'm pretty sure we've used these before. What I actually went to look for was in here. Uh, Northern SCR Connects, Southwestern, Southwest Trains, Arriva. No, nothing in there. Strathclyde Regional, Northern, EMR, EMT, Arriva. Uh, so it's looking like slim pickings for no greater Anglia sprinters. Which is fine. I mean, there might be one in here. Yeah, old school. How old school is that? A 150? Is there like a 150 dash 1? There is. And you could use this. It is old. Like, very old. It's only got two. Let's see if there's a, a larger version. Ah, it would be the 150-2, would it? See, Greater Anglia 150-2, but I have no idea what it looks like. Uh, add that. And I'm also going to add this, right? And we're going to buy it. And we're going to set it on a line. We are going to cross our fingers and pray that the game does not crash when we release this. And we'll actually have a look and see if it is a Greater Anglia livery. I do believe it is. I mean, this is probably super old and they probably don't use this anymore. Maybe, perhaps, maybe they still do. Uh, what's the difference between this one and the second one? Nothing really, they look great. 124 capacity. That's awesome. Right, off you go. Now, I would like to do an electric train to go up to Peterborough. I'm just going to have a quick look in here. Is there a... Regional, regional, central, generic, virgin trains, first northwestern, GMPT. What's that? Do you have a description? Yeah, first northwestern. Uh huh. I'm assuming that's an old. 
company that perhaps does not exist anymore. Southern, Southwest Trains, Network Southeast. Network Southeast, Southwest Trains. Uh, yeah, these are the ScotRail conversion ones. SPT. Yeah, the class 320 there. I think we used these ones the last time. So I think there's Greater Anglia version trains in here. Possibly, in, yeah, definitely in here. Great Northern, Great Northern. But if we head down, there is, without a shadow of a doubt, no, they're not in there. Ooh, that's weird. That's really weird. So are they in here? Uh, Southeastern white livery. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, uh, wait, 75 variants of this. Southwest trains. Scott Rail. City to Coast again. Greater Manchester, Greater Northern. Yeah, I think these are in alphabetical order, so I don't think. There's a greater Anglia version of this. Cross country, four car, nice. Great Northern, nice. Demslink, cross country, Southwestern. Negative. Negative. I think there's one in here though, right? Transport for London, ScotRail, blah, 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 Greater Anglia. So I think we'll use this one on the, the other line. Let's see if there's another livery for it. I might even use something like this Discord livery, just to sort of mix it up a bit. We've not really given the, the sort of Ryzen or the Discord or the, the sort of made up one, but this is National Express, Greater Anglia. Which I'm assuming is defunct now. There is no more National Express. Uh, National Express. For trains. I know there is for buses. Who knows? Someone out there in YouTube land will know. Because they probably live in the area where these things run. <coughs> ah, there we go. Excuse me, this is the 321 I used before. Greater Anglia NHS. So I don't want to use that again. So remember that you need to go to class 350s and pick one of these for the next one. We're going to do a Discord one and we're going to do a Greater Anglia one. Because. Or do we want to add a National Express Greater Anglia? Is there any information? No. Negative. On the informities there. Oh wait, I actually need to release your the second version of this. <laughs> I should have done that before. I didn't realise the game was unpaused. Uh, London to Norwich. In fact, I should also... Where's the other one? Where's that one I just... Are, are you the one? You are. Oh, well, there's that other Greater Anglia living. No, you are not the one. Where is the one? The one new. There he is. <laughs> right, I want to duplicate you, my friend. Manage vehicle. Uh, duplicate it. Yes. Own that vehicle, please. 222 two, two, and 223. Two, Rocking and rolling. And I actually went to look at this one. I maybe should have let you wait. Abelio, Greater Anglia.
I really need to go onto Wikipedia and find out when stuff was sort of rebranded, etc. I will be doing that in future playthroughs, absolutely, because it'll be a lot easier to get trains on the lines in, the, in the, <laughs> their proper era, their proper time to shine. Not probably many moons after they were discontinued. Right, so you are heading out, but we need to do the last line. So we will make this next one electric. I was going to go with the Discord train. I might just go with... I might just add it for fun. You go there. Yeah, go into that line. I'm assuming everything here is peachy. It is. Okay, so rename you. So this is Greater Anglia and this is Ipswich to beat. Oh, hey, but that in capitals. Greater Anglia, Ipswich to PT. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Push enter, we're good to go. Okay, now we can get this train up and rolling. Now you need to go into electrics, we're still here, excellent. So we want, head down, semi branded. Do I want this Discord one? The Discord one does look cool. We'll go with a Greater Anglia. This looks like an Abelio version, which is fine. I'm assuming it's a third rail number. There's no pantograph, unless the pantograph is down. We will see it when it leaves the depot. And we'll add this one as well, although I fear this one is an older livery. I'm going to send this one out first. So Greater Anglia, Ipswich to Peterborough. You should have no issues. You should just be able to go. I think, whoa, your lights are bright, buddy. He's got the, the full beam on there. National Express. It doesn't actually say Greater Anglia on it. It just says National Express. Manage vehicle. I'm going to replace you. I'm actually going to put the Discord train on here. Because why the hell not? Something different. And since this doesn't see... I'm going to go Discord. There we go, about free advertising there. So is this just a totally made up cursed livery? Or did they actually repaint this? I mean, I wouldn't put it, put it past like Intel and Ryzen Discord. I mean, there's lots of Facebook and Twitter advertising on buses and stuff. So I wouldn't put it past a company like Discord to say, go to a real company and say, hey, we would like to wrap your train in our slogan. Because it's not a repaint, it's, it's a wrap. I mean, the trains are normally base colours and then they're wrapped in whatever it is they need to be. Is it, are, they, are they wrapped or are they actually painted? Who knows? Someone who has worked on train lines or with trains before will know this. There we go. Yeah, no. Oh, no, there is a pantograph. Excellent. So that kind of works as well. Awesome. And then we need to just get the last one out which will be fine. So we'll ride on this one for a spell. I think it's going to get stuck behind uh, Old Faithful here <laughs> in the distance. I need to obviously add another grain train in this line because that is, well, it's a lot. There should be two of you. Where are you? 380? You take 400. Actually, when you get to Ipswich, right, you're going to wait for full load. Because I would imagine it won't take long for those farms to produce the extra 20 that the trade needs. 
There we go, riding on board our Discord train. Do we want to actually ride on board it? Is there a cab view? Hello there, driver. This looks strange. Very, very, very strange. Maybe come forward a touch. Is this what the driver would see? Well, we clearly need more. How? Yeah, because your signals would be on this side. Or they'd be traveling on the other side. So that driver would actually see that signal. Our trains are currently traveling on the wrong side. I was just wondering how a driver, if it was seated here with this weird partition thing, would be able to see through the window to a signal that was up at the right hand side. But the train would actually be, the driver would be on this side heading the other way and the signal would be on that side. Oop, we just clipped through something else. Hey, it's another old faithful. I do like this livery. It is nice. I fear that it is not going to take you a long time to get to Peterborough. How fast are you presently going? 76. Uh huh. Yeah, I definitely need another grain train on here. I can't even see. Well, there's one there. You need to hurry up there, buddy. Excellent. Well, let's, let's, let's release this one then. I'm pretty sure this is a Abelio. Greater Anglia number. We'll soon find out. Uh, London, Norwich, Ipswich, Peterborough. That is the one. That is the one we are going for. Let's take a closer look at this one. Yeah, it's an Abelio number. So it's it's sort of like new-ish trains that are getting the Abelio, Abelio livery. But there's also that red one with the thank you NHS livery. So which one is currently the correct one? Or does Abelio run some of the routes? Who knows? Someone who lives down in this area and uses Greater Anglia trains a lot will absolutely know. I currently do not. We've got it done. We've got Ipswich, Colchester, which was just added today. Added. Norwich is done. Ipswich to Peterborough is done. And Ipswich to Cambridge is done. So we're pretty much finished here. There's not really anything else. We will be heading down doing that Brighton line that is going to come out and then go off to Southampton and then we'll be working on the, the south end area of the map here. Where I, I would imagine there's still quite a few a few things left for us to do. Nice. But we shall leave it there for that episode you are going to be stuck for a while which is unfortunate and we'll jump on you hello friend yeah but we'll leave it there for that episode as always if you did watch this and you'd like to leave a like comment or dislike please feel free to do so and if there's more you would like to see in the future then hit the subscribe button i've been danny boy this has been transport fever 2 on the uk map and I will catch his lair.